the, uh, the other commissioners of IBC, of, of, uh, of NCSAC, Mr. Kennedy Kihara and Mr. Sorry. The mission was led by Kennedy Kiara, who was the only person who addressed the chairman and the other commissioners of IBC. Mr. Kennedy Kiara, in his affidavit sworn on 28th February 2022, equally confirms that his old presentation was to express the need to expedite the process of de declaring the results and ensuring transparency in order to avert public anxiety. But the attitude of the chairman is exhibited by the contempt by which he treated this team. They were not met when they came. They managed to find where to wait, but they were kept waiting for four hours. Members of a security team in the midst of an election where tension was rising. Having led them, the chairman claims that Mr. Kiara proceeded to caution him, among others, that if IEBC declared the results, uh, the results with Honorable Ruto as the president-elect, chaos would erupt and that the blood of dead Kenyans will be in their hands. But at this time, they were meeting not in the presence of Mr. Kiara and the chairman, there were all contingent of commissioners and the team from the security who comprise four other people. And he is trying to allege that an executive, a top executive of government would have gone and made this declaration in the presence of all these people. This claim is of course denied. Mr. Kinyua, as you know, is a top civil servant, is a top professional. And we all know that in civil service, discretion is the promise of valor. I mean, in fact, they are so discreet that even in normal things, they would not dare have the public know it. Curiously, the chairman reported the events which, unvolt, uh, which unfolded at the Tulling Center on 15th August to the police and they failed both an OB and also made a statement. There was no mention at all of this heinous act. There's also not any mention of the visit in any of the numerous statements the chairman made. As is common in the divided house of IEBC, the chairman was supported by two commissioners who incidentally also went to the police and made their statements and both also failed an OB, no mention of this incident. On the other hand, the four dissenting commissioners have filed an affidavit dated 28th August, which confirms on behalf of herself and three others that the meeting indeed took place and what was discussed was issues of security as was indicated by Mr. Kiara. The allegations made by the chairman are extremely grave and have irretri irretrievably sullied the conduct of the official concerned and indeed, if proven, can constitute an offense under Section 12 of the Election Act. The court views such allegations with great gravity. It has been the position of this honorable court that where an election offense is alleged, the evidence should be clear, cogent, certain, and the proof of, of, of which the law commands to be beyond reasonable doubt. It cannot be based on allegation on one side, on a team which is known to be divided, each part supporting his position, and on allegations of the chairman without any further proof when he had had an opportunity to indicate what happened and failed to do so. In the result, it is my humble submission that the allegation made cannot fly. All the chairman is doing 
is, uh, is uh, selling the character of other 